right, welcome back everybody. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to fit these, they're called smart latches. And I'll show you what they look like, they're just, they look like a tubular latch, but instead they've got a round face plate, rather than a rectangular face plate. So that's what they look like guys, okay? So the point of these is that they're just a very simple one hole to take the latch and one hole both sides to take the spindle for the handle. Okay? And then you have another little latch here. This is just to take the dead bolt. Okay? And then obviously we've got the handle and stuff like that on there guys, okay? So, what I've done is because these doors then match the existing doors inside the main house, I've gone inside and I've measured the distance between the bottom and where the latch is and where the handle goes and they go directly in the middle of this fourth panel at the top and this panel here is 330 millimetres so it's 165 millimetres Let me get a wedge in just to hold the door in place so See me. because it was actually so fine. 165. Just there. So you just want to gently put a mark on there. And then you've got a 57mm back set. So that's the centre hole for the spindle. We're going to come down this rose. So the rose is just the circular part of the finished face plate. Okay? So the rose itself is 45 millimetres. So 45, it's 22 and a half, so that would be finished about there. So if we went 50 mil down there, 22, 20, yeah, it's a bit too close. Let's make, let's make it 75. It's kind of halfway between the two. So all you got to do now is get your combi drill. Drill those out. Make sure you go in nice and square. You don't go in too out of level, all that sort of stuff, guys. Always double check them guys, alright, to make sure they're alright. Yeah. One. Double check the back step on the dead bolt. 
of swell. That's the latch. the arms, dust, and more wood chip in there. You don't want anything to compromise the latches and stuff going in there. Now obviously on these you've got a closing edge on them, so obviously this bit here is a closing edge, that's the bit that comes on the inside edge of the door. So the beauty of these is you literally just line them up and push them in. And that is it, that's all you need to do to these latches. You don't need to do anything else. It's just a push fit. So the way I do it guys, okay, is so that the thumb turn, when you turn it, you want to turn it so it's going into the lock rather than the opposite way, because I think that just, it's just a bit naff, you know, if, if you've got thumb turns which go one way and a different way, it just, it just seems a bit stupid to me. So always have them so when you turn the latch, it goes towards the striking plate. That's it. Lovely. So that's two fitted look. You haven't got to do any chopping out. Anything like that look? You might be able to see it because the sun's coming through, but it's just a simple 25mm hole, 16mm both sides, look, spindles match up all the way through there. And then you can just carry on and fit the latches in the handle. Right, that is a wrap on this video, guys, how I fitted the smart latch and the smart deadbolt latch on these doors. Um, the next video is going to contain how I fitted the handles and the thumb turn on this door and then the striking plates for both the lock and the latch. If there are any more videos that you'd like me to try and post, like any more how-to videos or just full in-depth description videos, tutorials of how to do them, then please hit me in the comments and I'll try and get those out to you as soon as possible. But if you are not a subscriber, um, please could you like and subscribe. It's really helping the channel grow now. We are just over a thousand followers, which is absolutely incredible. So uh, with that, I will see you guys on the next one.